Excel Tutorial How to Draw Floor Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 2 Welcome to Gawaka Studio. This video tutorial is a continuation of the episode How to Draw F Elevations Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 1. In this episode, I will show how to make a floor plan drawing of a semi-detached house. Using an Excel application, I will show you a detailed way and example, which is very easy to understand. You just have to follow this video to the end. Observe and understand the movement of the arrows, step by step until finished. Before we get started, I would really appreciate if you click the like and subscribe button as this video will provide knowledge, information, and be useful for you. All right, now we start the process and technique of making a drawing of a semi-detached house floor plan. It's a continuation of the work of the previous tutorial part one. Dimensions, floor plan of this semi-detached house is Site area 37 feet by 75 feet and building floor area 25 feet by 50 feet. Make sure you have measured the length and width around the construction site. It will work as a measurement guide to make a sketch on each image. Each box represents one square foot. The first process is to sketch the site area measuring 37 feet by 75 feet go to the toolbar click insert click illustration click shapes and click rectangle create an image as in the video next right click the mouse on the image select the shape format in the shape format display click on fill and select no fill next Click on the line, in the width box set the size to 8 point, and select the color as on the screen. Next on the image determine the exact size and position on the project site. The next process is to create a car porch area, measuring 20 feet by 37 feet, Repeat the same process to create an image. Use different colors. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. The next process is to create a master bedroom area, measuring 12 feet by 16 feet, using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. The next process is to create a bedroom area too, measuring 12 feet by 14 feet. Use the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. The next process is to create a bathroom area for bedroom 2, size 6 feet by 6 feet. Use the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. The next process is to create a bathroom area for the master bedroom, size 6 feet by 6 feet. Use the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. To remove unnecessary lines, the technique is as follows. Go to the toolbar, click insert, Click Illustration, click Shapes and click Rectangle. Create an image on an unnecessary line as in the video. Next, go to the Shape Format Display. In the Shape Format Display, click on Fill and select Solid Fill and click on the color box. Select White Background. Next, 
Click on the line and select no line. Copy and paste the image to eliminate other lines, which are not needed. The next process is to create a living room and dining room area, measuring 13 feet by 36 feet, using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. The next process is to create a kitchen area measuring 9 feet by 16 feet using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. When ready, tag the area. The next process is to create a bedroom 3 area measuring 10 feet by 12 feet using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. The next process is to create a bathroom area measuring 6 feet by 7 feet using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. The next process is to create a store area measuring 10 feet by 7 feet using the copy and paste technique on the same image. Next move the image to the correct position on the project site and determine the size. Once ready, name the area of bedroom 3, bathroom 3 and store. Then repeat the same method to eliminate unnecessary lines as on the screen display. Next process the door and window structure. On the toolbar, click insert, click illustration, click shapes and select arc. Create an image of your choice. Next go to the toolbar. Click Insert, click Illustration, click Shapes and click Line. Create an image in a position like the screen display. Next go to the toolbar, click Insert, click Illustration, click Shapes and click Rectangle. Create an image in a position like the screen display. Next on the toolbar, click Insert, click Illustration. Click Line and create an image. Copy and paste and move the position as shown on the screen. Next go Shape Format Specify Color and Transparency on Rectangle Box. Next press Ctrl on the keyboard click All Images, right click Mouse Select Group and click Group. Make sure all processes have been done perfectly. You can copy and paste and rotate the image. OK. The process of making the door structure is ready. Next create a window structure go to the toolbar, click Insert, click Illustration, click Shapes and click Rectangle. Create an image and size like a screen display. Observe the process of making the window structure step by step until completed. Make sure all processes have been done perfectly. You can copy and paste, rotate and crop the image. Next process, move the door and window structure to the position you want. In this process you can perform the technique of bring to front, send to back, copy and paste, reduce size, rotation and crop on the image structure.
Next, make the structure of the pillars and gates. On the toolbar, click Insert, click Illustration, click Shapes and click Rectangle. Create the image and size as the screen display. Observe the process, step by step until completed. Make sure all processes have been done perfectly. You can copy and paste and rotate the image. Once all the process of making a house floor plan is completed, do the process for the next house floor plan. The method is as follows. Highlight on the entire area of the home site as on the screen display. Right click on the mouse and select copy. Next go to the space next to the project site. Right click on the mouse. Click on the arrow paste specials. In the other paste options field, click picture. OK. Once the copy picture is available you can do the editing process, such as image rotation, and set the position of the image. For inverted tagging text you can move or copy and paste from the next site tagging image. Make sure the text has been edited by changing the white color on the text box. After that, move to the inverted writing. I hope you can understand and be able to do it perfectly. Maybe you need a little practice to dominate this technique. I hope this video tutorial gives knowledge and is beneficial to you. As a token of appreciation and thanks. I request you to click the like and subscribe button on this video. Your support will make me more enthusiastic to produce further tutorials. If you're interested in following the full episode, please visit the Gawaka Studio channel, and you will be able to follow a complete tutorial entitled, How to Draw Elevations Plan Using Microsoft Excel, Part 1. How to Draw Floor Plan Using Microsoft Excel, Part 2. How to draw floor plan detail and finishing using Microsoft Excel. Part 3. How to draw floor plan accessory and landscape using Microsoft Excel. Part 4. How to draw side view and roof plan using Microsoft Excel. Part 5. How to draw top view and roof plan using Microsoft Excel. Part 6. The Making of Semi-Detached House Plan Using Microsoft Excel Part 7 See you in the next episode. Thank you. From Gawaka Studio